Okay. Dana Abercrombie, The Coalition, thank you so much for speaking with me. I loved this movie. And one of the things, one of the things I really loved is what we don't see in terms of the tension building. So as a director, can you please talk about the importance of not only just the tension building, but how that seems to be more important than opposed to like jump scares or the average way of scaring people? Yeah, no, I'm glad you brought that up because that's something that I, I think a lot about and I'm really mm-hmm. interested in, which is the sort of the human mind can come up with something much scarier or much more you know intense than anything we can show you, right? So the longer you can draw out that tension, the more you can make it seem like there's something there that's coming. You get the audience build up that when you have the scare or when you have that, that moment of the reaction, it's like a re- it's a reflex, right? It's like just a response. And it's actually kind of like a release. Like you build the tension. When, they, when the scare happens, you get released and you relaxed a little bit. I'm much more interested in that moment of building that tension up. And for me, it's like the movie Alien. The less mm-hmm. you see of it, the scarier it is. When you start seeing it and you piece, piece it together, then you're like, okay, I think I know what that is. I like the mystery of like not knowing. Right. And what I loved, it seemed to be one of the themes. It's like the pain that we have within that we don't release and let out. And I kind of felt mm-hmm. that that was kind of what the fire really meant, yeah. like the fire that's inside of us. Can you talk about some of the themes of the movie? Yeah. That, so that's a big one is the sort of we all have that. Right. We all have that moment, especially when we're 12 years old, like Ryan is in this movie. Um, that navigating your body's changing, you're trying to figure out who you are, how you relate to everybody else, and it's turmoil, right? And like, how do you release that? What does that look like? And then the other theme is like parenthood and how do you be a father? So in the case of Zach, how do you be a father, not only to daughter, uh, I've got daughters myself and I know what, what that's like, but how do you parent a child that is in turmoil and happens to be able to light people's heads on fire. Like, how do you how do you navigate those waters? Um, so I, for me, I really wanted to speak to kind of write these bigger themes of parenthood, of self discovery, of freedom versus protection, and like what those look like and how we navigate those, uh, and also kind of like paranoia. Just the the times we're living in right now. I think people are very, you know, there's a lot of paranoia about like what's going to happen, where are we going. Uh, and I, I thought this story did a, the, the script and the book does a great job exploring that. Really did. And one of my last questions is if you could kind of sum up Firestarter using just three words, what would you say? <laughs> yeah, three words. I would say uh, intense, emotional, explosive. Mm, I like that. <laughs> nice. King with me. Great job once again. Thank you. Thanks so much.